Hello Internet, I'm Guy. I'm about to share something kind of heretical to people who work with machine tools, lathes and mills. So before I do that, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory about me. I've been self-employed all my life and I've had multiple serial and parallel careers. I've made a lot of fine artwork. I turn wood bowls and teach classes in woodworking and wood turning. I've made a lot of furniture. I'll show you some pictures over on the side there of some of my furniture. Um, so I'm a materials agnostic and I have a machine shop filled with not just metalworking machines but woodworking machines. Uh, right behind the camera I have a lathe and right here is my router table. Now a router table is a lot like a milling machine upside down and it uses carbide bits. So here's what I'm going to suggest. You can actually use router bits on your milling machine to machine anything that's non-ferrous. So we're talking brass, aluminum, delrin, acrylic. All those materials are soft enough that a router bit running at very high speed, because they're designed to go in a pretty high speed machine here, just max out the, the milling speed on your milling machine. And you can use all of these router bits. Let me show you what I've got in the drawer right below here. You think that's all? Wait a minute. Look at that. So this entire set many years ago cost me about 40 bucks. I think you can get a slightly smaller size set than that for 40 bucks these days. But look at all the different contours and shapes and types. I mean, a really long bit like that can come very helpful in a milling machine. Uh, some of these roundover bits for very large ed rounding over of edges. Of course, I've got this set here. This was a, about a $40 set here. Um, all these different contours, I'll come in a little bit closer. Just think of all the things you could do with some of these router bits here. Making hollow grooves, uh, pointed grooves, dovetails, uh, you know, slots, uh, big removal of waste material. These are bearing followers for uh, removing off edges by guiding onto something, of course, so all of these have bearings on them. Uh, I don't think you'd use some of these in uh, machining, but uh, the roundover bit you could use with or without the bearing, of course. And, you know, sometimes you want to make an inner curve like that, too. So, I, you know, this is a slotting cutter, too, which would come in very helpful, and a, a deep recessed slotting cutter, known as a rabbiting cutter in uh, uh, woodworking. So it's something to consider that if you find yourself needing to do something that you don't have a milling cutter for, and you don't want to spend a small fortune on a milling cutter, consider using a router bit. Thanks for watching. If you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe and I will have more quick tips coming up.